Good afternoon, amigos, from UNAM UNAM Universidad Nacional Auto Autonoma de Mexico. De Mexico, that's the easiest part. <laughs> huh. We posted something on our Facebook and on our Patreon of Choose Our Adventure, and this is where you guys chose. So here we are. Here we are. Let's Vominos. explore. You know we had to find some food. What uh, what do you have? And banana de chinga. E? Oh, it's spicy. Papa sala francesa. Oh. And you guys already know, I've got a torta. Every new place we've got to try the food. So uh, I don't think Luis has steered us wrong. This one's got like pretty much everything on it. Pretty much everything. Okay, we just finished our lunch. It was it was actually super good for 90 something pesos, <laughs> but. Uh, Luis tells us that things here on campus are priced for that of a college student, so Perfect. this may be the first place in Mexico City where we actually fit in on a college <laughs> student's budget. Uh, we are in front of the uh, central library, the Biblioteca, Biblioteca Central, <laughs> and uh, there's a really pretty like mural on the outside. I'm not sure if Greg can show you yes. that, but okay, my mind is blown because I just learned that public universities in Mexico are free. <laughs> Free, free. <laughs> this really hurts a little United Statesian heart <laughs> as we write that five to five hundred dollar to thousand dollar check each month to the University of North Texas. Call, <laughs> call nation. Uh, that really hurts. I cannot believe. Again, those Mexican viewers probably already know this. Greg already knew this. <laughs> My mind is blown. It makes me want to go back to school. However, Greg and I learned that only eight percent of the people that apply to UNAM actually get in. So. We need to get to studying. Luis told us that this is the biggest school, the biggest public university in Latin America. And I looked it up and I believe like 300 to 350,000 people come here. And that is bigger than a lot of cities we have been in. Uh, I guess it's its own sort of city with its own police, similar to universities elsewhere. Uh, but again, Mexico, you're mind blowing. those of you that have been around since the Vallarta days for the Kennans, you know how much we love Raspados. Hillary was craving it, and we just happened to find it. Whew. we've taken this UNAM day and turned it into a food day. Well, yeah. Classic Kinetic Cannon. We'll get more serious here in a minute. We are uh, making our way through campus. We are walking through the metro bus because I think the, the campus buses are not in operation today. And then we're taking the metro bus inside of the campus, mind you, to another place. How far is away is it, Luis? How far? Yeah, on the metro bus. Uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, all inside the campus, okay. <laughs> so this place truly is huge. Uh, we're going to the Centro, uh, Centro Cultural Universitario. Important to note that uh, this campus, campus of UNAM is a UNESCO World Heritage. Uh, we're, the area we're going to, I believe, is gonna have some murals, sculptures, all sorts of pretty stuff. So we have barely even scratched the surface of, of this campus and I have a feeling probably by the end of the day we'll still have barely scratched the surface but needless to say I can see why they call this a city because it's pretty big. Okay, we 
have made it to <laughs> Centro University. Centro. Centro Cultural Universitario. Got it. Centro Cultural Universitario. Boom. <laughs> kind of close. This is apparently there's a lot of uh, it's the cultural center I guess of the campus. Yeah, of the university. Of the university. <laughs> And this place is huge. Again, the wide open spaces in Mexico City are wide open spaces. <laughs> okay, focus. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Roberto, Robert, that yeah, we just met. from Tabasco, all the way from the city of the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just lost subscribers. Okay, amigos, aquí tenemos la sala Nezahualcoyotl. Boom! Wow. First try! We're gonna try to go to the sculpture center. It's closed for some reason, so we did try. We were gonna try and get some. We were gonna try and get some drone shots up uh, close to the uh, sculptures, but for one or another, one reason or another, it's closed. I got my 10,000 steps like three hours ago. This place is it's huge. It's like in. It feels like a. It feels like we're in a national park. I don't know. It's a big place, it's a big place. What, a, what are your thoughts on, on UNAM? <laughs> UNAM. Wow, it's really made UNAM for itself. What? <laughs> UNAM for itself? UNAM Okay, it's obviously itself. you've learned nothing on this university tour. <laughs> What's like your favorite it. part? Um, I think I like the part by the central library. It seems like there's like tons of people hanging out there, tons of dogs, which is probably my favorite part. And it just seems like a cool spot to hang out and get some sunshine <laughs> and studies. <laughs> <laughs> studies, yeah. Uh, I think one thing that's cool for me or one thing that's different uh, or that makes this place unique uh, from my perspective is at least uh, is that we passed several museums here it's not surprising at all because it's Mexico City and this place is full of museums, but we certainly didn't have a museum that I know of on campus of North Texas. And hey, maybe maybe Harvard and for Princeton has something. <laughs> yeah, and the fact that this place is free and Luis has told us you can get scholarships when you're in college, but since the school is free, you just get to use the money for whatever you want. for your life. Exactly. What is this? <coughs> This is crazy. We have made it off the college campus of UNAM <laughs> uh, without studying too much, but I, uh, Greg and I were talking off camera. I think that Mexicans and people, especially from around this area, Chilangos, Chilangos are very proud of the university and uh, Having not understood that until we visited today, I can definitely see why. Um, museums, Luis has told us there's cultural activities there, scientific activities. Uh, it seems like a really cool place, so I can see why so many people. I'm going back to school. It. Uh, thank <laughs> you guys so much for recommending it, our January Adventure of the Month, and boy was it an adventure. Now we are going to continue the adventure into the mall. <laughs> uh, Luis says this is one of the biggest malls in the city, but you guys won't get to come along for that. <laughs> we almost forgot our Patreon of the day, a new thing we're gonna try. Our patron, our Patreon patron of the day is Ken Arroyo. <laughs> and thank you so much for all of your, your kind messages and uh, for staying in touch with us and for helping yes. us continue to do what we love doing, yes. and that is exploring Mexico. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Every time we upload a new video. Wait, click the bell. Uh, 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 subscribe to our channel, click the bell. That way you get notified. Every time. <laughs> to Caravace, we upload a new video, and we will see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Adios. Bye.